In this long-awaited video, I took myself to a second journey through the majestic places that you can travel to in Greece and, as always, had my eyes on local ants, like cataglyphis, phaidole and mesor species. I even found some queen ants. Make sure you watch this video carefully through until the end so you don't miss any details. This is Ants Vienna and today we present you part 2 of our Greek Ants documentary. Let's get started. Now, let me quickly mention that this video is a follow-up to our first Greek Ants documentary published back in May and I strongly suggest you watch that video before or after this one. So, during my last trip to Greece, I encountered a variety of Greek Ants by baiting them with food and laying there, waiting for the ants to show up. And while that method did show its results, this time I approached things differently. In order to encounter even more species of ants living in Greece, we decided to make many trips throughout the area we were staying, including other cities and villages. And our efforts paid off. Look what we found here. This looks like a cataglyphis worker ant. So slim, yet magnificent. And by following it, sure, not too far away, we encountered more of them. Until we found one, no wait, actually two nest entrances. This colony is located in a very arid place that gets very warm during daytime, boosting the growth of the brood these ants are most likely piling up underneath the earth's surface. And thanks to that warmth, these ants get truly big, like big big. Some of these major workers are easily around 14 mm long and judging from the dark red color mixed with black, in addition with those long legs and raised abdomen, I'd say we're looking at Cataglyphis nodus ants here. However, since I haven't seen these with my own eyes before, I would appreciate it if you guys can confirm this or make your own suggestion about what ant species this is down in the comments. Assuming my Cataglyphis guess is correct, these ants are very fast thanks to their long legs and relatively slim body. However, these long legs that give them the ability to almost glide over the earth's surface do come at a price. Cataglyphis ants are notoriously bad climbers. So, if you plan to keep any Cataglyphis species ants, including Cataglyphis nodus, make sure to give them a large, flat outworld ant nest so they can forage and reproduce with ease. Oh, and if you happen to keep or have kept cataglyphis ants already, feel free to write on how you have experienced them or tricks to raising them. I read and answer every single comment. Not too far away. What would Greece be without these pesky little buggers? Yes, I am talking about these Feidole ants here. They are practically everywhere, scavenging whatever small food resource they can find. Seems they are fixated at something that's stuck on the ground here. I do find this soldier cool though, with a big head. What a ridiculous head to body ratio this is. <laughs> Look, another soldier joined the party. So yeah, from what you can tell guys, I truly do adore how these Fedole soldiers look. And if I had to guess, these are either Fedole Megacephala or Fedole Koshevnikovi, which you can both find in North Africa and apparently South Europe, like Greece in our case. Also, let me show you guys the full picture, which is exactly the part why I was laughing before. There are some other ants foraging in this area too, 
that pretty much surrounded me during filming. They have to be some sort of campanotus, and compared to this fedole here, they look like giants. Let me freeze the frame for you guys and girls. This is a big headed fedole soldier that we have been looking at until now, and this is the campanotus in comparison. Who do you think would win a one on one fight? Seems unfair to me. Okay, you hopefully get my point by now. Those Fedole soldiers may look cool, but if you want to keep large ants, I would rather consider a Campanotus species instead. By the way, what Campanotus do you think this is? An easy guess for Greece would be Campanotus ethiops. But ethiops are glossy black and noticeably smaller than these here. These are rather matte and do seem quite big, around 14 mm I'd say. So a better guess might be Campanotus barbaricus, but they don't seem like it. Plus, barbaricus is more often found in Spain. Okay, my third and final guess is Campanotus cruentatus. These are both big and matte. If you have any other suggestion, feel free to mention it in the comments. Let us move on now to another iconic ant figure of Greece. Harvester ants, specifically the Messer ant genus. Look what huge seeds these ants can carry around. I am always amazed when looking at how Ants can move stuff that is so much bigger than their own bodies in comparison. Also, look how ridiculously long that ant trail is. They are getting those seeds from pretty far away. Let's follow them. And sure enough, we've discovered one of their nest entrances, which is guarded from a few large major workers. I can imagine that Mesor are truly amazing ants to keep. Out of what I have seen so far, they show great polymorphism, meaning there are enormous size differences between the individual workers. Mesor workers can be anywhere from 3 to 20 millimeters long. Yes, that's 2 centimeters, almost an inch. The maximum size, however, does largely depend on the exact mesor species we're talking about. The biggest mesor species, to my knowledge, are mesor cephalotes. But these cannot be found in Greece. Cephalotes are usually found in Eastern Africa, so we are looking at another smaller mesor ant species here. Maybe you watching can help us identify the exact mesor species we are looking at by commenting below. Another fact to be noted is that I have seen a few different mesor colonies in the area. They might even belong to various different species. Notice how these here do appear to have a rather red mesosoma or thorax. Now, the sunlight is intense, but you have to admit that the other ones looked much more intense black than these do. Anyway, maybe we can clear that up in the chat. Now, people often ask me, what ants are the best to keep? And my answer is always the same the ones that you can catch in your area. Naturally, some of you have been asking me what ants you can catch in Greece. So, I thought I'll keep my eyes open just in case I see any quinans. And who would have guessed it? I did find some quinans during my second trip to Greece this year. Apologies for the rather dark footage here, 
but I did catch those two queens at night, around 22 p.m. And yes, I was checking the street with a flashlight, since I had noticed a few swarming mainlands earlier that evening, which got me interested, and I did secure one just in case the queens are not fertilized. For now, let me put them all in test tubes. Here is some close-up footage of the two ladies. They are both around 13 mm long and have a nice shiny black color with some hair and ever so slightly brownish feet. So, unlike the other ant species throughout this video, I do not need to guess much here. I am 99% sure these are Campanotus Ethiops quinans. And that makes me very happy because I haven't had the chance to keep any Campanotus Ethiops ants until now. Do you keep Campanotus Ethiops? How are they as pets? Do you have any tips for me? By now, both of them have made it safely to Austria with me and I would be glad to raise them with the utmost care for our Ants Vienna Ant Channel. Now, I know this has been a long video, but stay with me, I've got one more thing I need to show you. Here they are. I've also found this queen in Greece, back in May though, during my first visit this year. So by now, this queen has had her first two workers. Do you want to guess what ant species this colony is? I'll give you a tip, pay close attention to the queen's head. So let me know your guesses in the comments down below and let's see who of you guys and girls gets it right. Over the next few weeks I'll be updating you on these as well as on my other older ant colonies. So feel free to leave this video a like if you enjoyed watching it and make sure you subscribe with the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Meanwhile, you may want to check out the videos that appear on your screen right now.